Well, greetings, Leo. Welcome to your horoscope. So, we're still in a place, let's, let's say, you know, this full moon is about you. Isn't everything about you? Yes. <laughs> it is. Um, so, you're in a popular place, and I mean, it's a really special Valentine's Day when you've got moon and Leo, because it's easier to be focused on matters of the heart, and it's easier to be generous, and it's easier to be creatively expressive. So these are really good qualities, and I like seeing this. And I think you're going to make your significant other happy this week. That's Happy is a good flavor. Not to mention that kind of sexually passionate or confused, depending on how you look at it, Mercury. Um, well, not Mercury. is more in your seventh house now. But um, Neptune and uh, Chiron. So there could be... You know, like a like a Marvin Gaye night of sexual healing or something. I mean, everybody could use a little bit of that, you know. Just be patient. Take your time. Take some really good aphrodisiacs and, you know, be ready to enjoy yourself, you know. Um, unless you have someone who just says no. I mean, that's, you know. I say get out of those relationships quickly. Um, <laughs> Uranus and... In your uh, ninth house, it's, um, it's exciting to do long-distance travel. It's risky. There's shocks and surprises, but it's never a dull moment. Um, you got to come more in touch with your emotions this week. Your personal things that you want to do, they're going to be there. You might make some money over the weekend, so that's, that's always a nice thing. Get a little bit more pocket cash. You could use it. Great spirits here in you. Um, I would say work on issues that involve your family. They might seem hard, but you'll be honoring your ancestors by working on the hard stuff to make them better. 